I'm Eric Elvig. I'm a junior in sport and recreation management and I studied in Tokyo. I took 15 credits when I was there. I'd probably advise to take a little bit less because I would have liked to do more traveling than what I was able to do. Daily life was basically just kind of what it is here. Just you're in a completely different space with completely new people. As much as it is about building friendships of other study abroad students and things like that, get out of your comfort zone, get away from the group, go do something unique. When I went to Okinawa, I took a ferry to basically, not an abandoned island, but it was inhabited by like 100 people and I spent the night there camping on a beach and that was kind of one of those experiences where you look back and you're just like, wow, that was incredible, that was so life-changing. And also, being in a packed train during rush hour was another one of those eye-opening experiences where there's like 300 people per train car and you are literally crammed against each other, people are falling asleep on you. But it's amazing because you can hear a pin drop from the other side of the train. And knowing our transportation systems here, that would never ever happen. If you're on the fence, if you don't know if you want to study abroad or not, it's three and a half months, there's not a lot you can't do in three months. I loved my experience, I would recommend it for anyone, and if you're on that fence, I'd say go for it 100%.